finally going on another Athens adventure today. Uh, it is late in the afternoon and a friend of mine said to me last week, let's go to Cape Sunyan on Sunday and to the Temple of Poseidon, which I have never been to. I've lived here for four years. I've sailed by it, but I have never been to it. So that's what we're gonna do today. If you're here and you don't have a friend with a car, there is a public bus that goes there. I'll put a link down in the description box. And of course you can take a tour on a tour bus. If you're really brave and you wanna drive it, that's what we're doing. I'll kind of show you a little bit of the drive along the way. I think it takes about an hour. Um, I'm here in Elenico. That's where she's picking me up from the metro. Uh, so come with me to Cape Sunyan. made it and there it is and look at all the boats in the harbor I don't know if you can see that because of the sun yeah, but it's very crowded today so we had to park in the lower parking lot and walk up so just be prepared for that I did wear like really good shoes because I figured it was gonna be a little bit rocky and everything so just keep that in mind so there's a little like cafe here and there's a toilet in there if you need it because it is quite a drive. And here's the entrance. Let's go inside. The views from up here are great so far. So it's also much cooler here than it is in Athens. It's been extremely hot lately. So the breeze feels cool. Um, I dress for it to be like insanely hot, as you can see. <laughs> so there wasn't a brochure at the entrance, but there are some signs it looks like here and then I see one off in the distance so you may not need the brochure if you can stop and read the signs. So it's really cool when you sail past it but to then come up here and see it up close is even more amazing. It's really beautiful. So you can kind of like wander around the site when you're up here you don't have to like go in a specific way. So that's nice as well. And there is another portion of the temple. It's not raised though, it's this flat area. So the temple is the southernmost point of Attica, the region of Attica, which is pretty cool. Okay, according to this sign, Homer says that there was a sacred place here since the 8th century BC. Um, it wasn't necessarily in this format, you know, it was a building, uh, but there was a building on the site by the Persians in 480 BC. That's when it was completed, they think. So that's amazingly impressive. <laughs> go from the cafe you can actually go out to this little rocky point it's not part of the site but it's a good place to come and get a really nice photo and we think there are actually someone over there having their wedding photos taken I see a woman in white the thing I will say is that if you come here you definitely need good shoes because it's not smooth like at the Acropolis you can see it's like super rocky and uneven I'm really glad I wore my Keens, which are like hiking sandals. It's a bit, bit uh, unsteady out here. If you know the story of the Minotaur, Theseus went to Crete to battle him and his father, King Aegeus, King of Athens, was waiting here at Cape Sunion for word whether or not he'd won or lost. And they had said that if he had died, they would sail black sails, and if not, they wouldn't. Well, they forgot. And the black sails were up, even though he had won. So King Aegeus threw himself into the sea, killing himself even though his son was alive, and that is why it is called the Aegean Sea. down these little stairs and go down this way and I'm not really sure what's down here but we'll see what it is. Another part that's slightly unstable and then we have sidewalks so <laughs> but it does look like there's like buildings here so apparently there was like a settlement here for a while as well as the temple so and I think a cemetery so Let's see what we can see. There's a sign at the end of the trail. 
helpful, but you know, hey, there are signs. Definitely the settlement. The sign said that there were four houses on each block, but only the front two would be accessible. So that's interesting. So I guess you had to go around the back. So there had been houses on this side and then houses on this side as well. So we're gonna walk down to the end though. Look at all the sailboats. Like, this is amazing to me. This is my dream. Like I wanna be here on a boat so and look at the amazing like they have it all blocked off so you can't go any closer so you can swim there are a lot of people on the beach though all the way down here every beach was crowded because it's so hot and everybody in athens is at the beach okay so sense. we have finally figured it out because we actually have a really good sign now so what we walked to is this settlement is where we were but this was a naval base so we were here and then we walked down between all these houses here and then this is the naval base and look there's a part that's cut into the rock where there are two ships like bays essentially how cool is that like everybody talks about the temple but nobody talks about the settlement and the other parts of the history around it you can actually see where the ship's coves were so you have this dry bed area and then the next little cove is probably where it was on the map there's a little dot indicating like where you are and then over here you can see the wall because the whole thing was walled the walls are amazing but they're in really good shape as well more wall over there and of course the cicadas have joined us now sounds of greek summer so we're walking down this path to see what there is down here because we're not sure This is the wall, and apparently there were 10 towers as well leading to here. And actually, they had put the wall 400 meters on both sides and cut off the cape from the mainland. Pretty impressive. So it's just a little bit before sunset, and as you can see, it has gotten very, very crowded. So if you're coming here, just be prepared for that. And keep in mind, it's only July. It's not August, so it's gonna get worse. You can stay here for sunset, which would be amazing because it will yes. set over here, but has it. it is yeah. getting very, very crowded. So <laughs> we're gonna head out and go have dinner somewhere. And they don't actually close until like after sunset, but actually sunset gets better after the sun goes down and then you're not gonna be in here anyway. So I still think this is a pretty amazing view just like this. As you can see, the sunset at Cape Sunion is amazing, whether you're still at the Cape or driving back. Thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next adventure.